Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. Oh, I could have stayed in bed this morning, but I actually got to sleep late. I got up with my husband at 4 and got him off to work. And then I went back to bed with the intent of just laying in bed and watching YouTube videos, but I fell asleep. And my kids let me sleep till about 6.15, so I was lucky there. It's about 7.30. I have had one cup of water and I am having a second. These are 24 ounces in here, I think. Yeah, 24 ounces in there. And for anyone who is new to my channel, I very rarely drink plain water. I don't like the water that we have here. And I drink far too much water to buy bottled water. I know I should just buy a thing for the faucet or something, but I don't have one and I don't like the way our water tastes. So I use all different flavors of these little packets here and I can get at least two, if not three, of these big cups out of one pack. I only allow myself two of them a day. So that, technically, if I can do it, is six of these, which is more than I drink any day. So, I don't feel so bad. I get all my water in and I, I don't know, it doesn't bother me. So, there's always a little bit of something in my water because we have really hard, uh, really chlorinated water here. And I don't like the way it tastes. So, water, I've already had 24 ounces. And I'm having a one point cup of coffee in my Christmas mug. These are my favorite kind of mugs. They're just ceramic mugs and then the top is um, silicone. I really like them. And for any of my fellow friends out there, um, a couple of these silicone mugs, the silicone covers that I bought... Um, I bought the cups on eBay, and I think that they were used, and when they came to me, they had this really funny smell. So I googled a bunch of different ways, because I had tried just soaking them, like, in dishwater and stuff. I didn't want to soak them in bleach or anything really chemical heavy that you shouldn't ingest. So I just kind of soaked them in hot water. I tried lemon juice. I tried baking soda. Nothing seemed to work, and then, um... Someone mentioned to me that I should try the denture tabs. My grandmother did. And so I bought some of those. And about once a month, I take, I think I have three of these. I take the covers once a week, once a month, whenever I notice that they're kind of smelling funny. And I stick them in a bowl with one of the denture tabs overnight. And then I just wash it in my dishwasher like I normally would. And it gets all of the funk and stuff out of it. Um, I do the same thing once a month or so, depending on the time of year and how much I've been using them. But with my um, cupcake silicone muffin wrappers, just to get them really extra clean. Um, so there's a good tip for you. Just the little denture tabs. I buy a whole box of like... 40 or 50 at the dollar store. Um, it works really good. There, It also works really good for like, um, my mom makes me these knitted scrubbies and I like to put them in the washing machine, but sometimes they just stink. So I'll do that. Um, works really good. I do it with the, uh, the little, um, if any of you have kids, doesn't have one in here right now, but the little plugs that go in their cups, um, I put those in with my covers too, just to give them a good clean. Um, so just a, a good tip for you. Okay, so coffee, water, still not sure what I'm having for breakfast yet. I think I'm going to do another day, if not a whole week, I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of just play it day by day. I feel much better today than I did yesterday. So I'm going to try and stick with plant-based today. Uh, my husband's home for supper, so I'm not sure what I'm going to cook yet. Um, plant-based at least for the first two meals. Dinner, if I can get away with it. Um, I'm not sure yet what I will make for everybody else. I think I may take some chicken out and do 
fajitas, so I can just do a fajita bowl with mushrooms. So I will see you guys when I have breakfast. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, breakfast time. So I am having. Let me grab it. Okay, so for any of my new subscribers, this is the bread I eat the most. This is the Good Food for Life Ezekiel bread. I have tried a couple of the other flavors. Um, I like the sesame the best. Please shut the fridge, buddy. Grayson. Thank you. Um, I have yet to try the cinnamon raisin bread. I'm a little bit of a... I'm afraid I would eat the whole loaf with butter. So that's kind of my reason why I haven't tried that flavor. But I love this sesame one. I've tried the oatmeal one and it's okay. But this one holds me over really well. Um, it is two points per slice, which is worth it to me. Um, let's see. Total carbs per slice is only 14 grams, three of which are fiber. So 11 grams of carbs per piece, but it's so worth it to me. Um, on top today, I have... <coughs> three points worth which is two-thirds of an ounce of raw uh, unsalted almond butter we have a local store here an actual like local store not a chain or anything but a local store where you can go and grind it yourself and it's actually pretty cheap um, a tub this size of fresh almond butter is only like five dollars which is cheaper than a jar you would buy in the store so once every couple of months my mom goes and gets us both a tub of it um, it's really thick it comes out really thick so my, I weigh it and then I always stick it in the microwave for 10 or 15 seconds just to kind of warm it um, and let the oils kind of break it down because otherwise you can't really spread it and then I have half a banana on top um, Just a banana. In this car. <clears throat> Grayson. And a little pinch of hemp seeds on the top for zero. So the whole two pieces of toast is. in this car. Sorry, guys. Four for the bread, three for the peanut butter. That's seven. One with my coffee, which is eight, leaving me with 22 points left for the day. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go eat and take these kids outside to play because they're driving me insane already today. Okay, bye. <clears throat> Hi friends, so it is lunchtime. Really quick, <clears throat> sorry. I am having exactly what I had yesterday, another third of this Asian salad, which is five points, um, a veggie egg roll, for three points and an apple. I am on my fourth cup of water. Miss Willow just got up. She's having lunch with me. And that's it. I did the, um, decided to take a break from Bikini Body Mommy and I did the Walk It Off in 30 Days today. It felt so good. I worked up quite a sweat. Um, so yeah, today is going good. And I will see you after I eat. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. So it is about 8.30 on Sunday night. And I just wanted to close out the vlog. I did not film supper. Um, but I had a burrito bowl. Uh, I made chicken, I guess it was more of a fajita bowl. Um, I made chicken with onions and peppers for my family, and I made mushrooms for myself. So I had half a cup of white 
minute rice, which is two points. Um, I had the onions and the peppers, which were zero. I had mushrooms, onions and peppers, white rice. I had a third of a cup of the steam fresh, flavorful lime corn, whatever it is. That was two points. Uh, I had two points worth of the taco lentils and two points worth of avocado and a little bit of salsa. So my whole dinner was eight points. That leaves me with six left for the day, which I'm not going to eat at this point. Um, I hit, I did do a workout today. I hit, can you see that? 11,000 steps, which is big for me. I have not been hitting that. I have surpassed my water goal. Um, I'm thinking seriously that I need to push myself with a goal and a something to work towards. Um, last summer when I did my 5K, my goal for next summer was to do a 10K. And I'd still love to do that. And I actually found one in our area, like right in our area, um, that is happening in May. So I would love to actually sign up for that and use it as a goal and something to kind of push myself towards. I am really going to try to get my butt to the gym this week. Um, so we'll see what happens there. And that's it for today. I know today was pretty boring. It was a pretty boring weekend around here, but... I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.